I think here yeah, the issue is probably about to sort of move away from uh, sort of prima donna architecture, if I can call it that, you know, uh, built up over the years as a, you know, a lot of tension towards individual architects and their approach to things. And I think what's happening now, and certainly what we've uh, encouraged in a number of the projects that we've been involved in, is a move towards a sort of more cooperative um, approach. You know, this has a an effect throughout the, the project, because when you've got one architect or one you know, particular name who might be fantastic at a particular element of architecture, maybe it's facades or maybe it's the overall concept or but whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean he's the, the best person for every different element. So in a project that, that we uh, did some while ago now, over a decade ago, uh, there was uh, an architect who was, who was a, a big name for certain elements, but because uh, and this was in Turkey, and because we wanted to give very much a sort of Turkish feel to uh, the the project, we actually got um, you know landscape architects who are familiar with Turkish plant varieties, and and so they joined in the process, and and that sort of collaboration between the international uh, designers and then the, the, the locals who understood uh, the lie of the land, what worked, uh, was was really um, very effective, and and so I think. I think in answer to your question, I think it's that move towards a sort of more of a collaborative approach, which I think is, is quite interesting. I mean, first of all, uh, when you talk about international, that tends to imply, you know, drive towards uh, standards uh, and, and having common standards uh, and, and standards which, you know, are there for, for a good effect, particularly in relation to uh, health and safety and elements like this. This is this is very important to uh, include in in all um, projects. But the interna internationalization of of architecture, um, you know, is is a good sort of two way flow, if you like. So you know, big practices moving into new markets, they bring knowledge, know how. Uh, they 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 bring experience, um, but also uh, you know, I think they also take away from the, the local architectural practices, uh, certain elements as well, uh, uh, whether it's a, an approach to design or or whether it's uh, something which has a uh, deep cultural roots. Uh, so I think I think when international, everyone tends to think it's sort of you know the Western practices coming to sort of lord it unto those in 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 other countries. But I, I think there is there is an element of of you know real information and and uh, knowledge flow in that direction. And but I I look at it as a two way uh, street. Uh, so also those international architects can pick up on some of these other design and cultural elements uh, from from the local uh, practices. As a platform, I think the, the aim of, of GEMS, if I'm not mistaken, is to expose the architects to a, a you know, a, a wider um, engagement, uh, which, of course, also exposes them to a sort of a range of criticism, which is positive and negative, uh, um, uh, which will help you know, inform their approach going forward and, um, you know, and it enables um, people to, you know, express their, their views and, you know, and, and comment where, where things, you know, they may, they may find uh, are missing. So, for example, you know, I mean, my, my, my practice that, that I set up, you know, we, we only now uh, engage uh, with development companies that embrace sustainability, for example. Uh, you know, it's something which uh, I gave a lecture on back in 2007, when I think I was saying that back then that buildings didn't engage in sustainable practices and uh, were, were actually going to be functionally obsolescent. Well, I, I, was, I was a little bit wrong uh, back then, but, um, but now I think we're really coming into that age. And, and I think, you know, the more architects expose their work and the more they hear you know, a similar message, whether it's on sustainability or on other elements, I think it helps embed the importance of these issues into, you know, their consideration process for, for future projects. You know, I think, I think it's that exposure, you know, that to give them a, a, um, a, a platform for understanding, which is, which is not just from their immediate peer group, uh, that I think is, is perhaps, you know, one of the beneficial elements of, of having an expos like, like uh, GEMS. I think I'm hoping that the architects will, will benefit from that.